Hi everyone, uh, welcome back to Frequently Asked Fridays, a series where we answer prospective students' questions. My name is Juliana and I'm a Lake Forming Admissions intern. Today's topic is inclusion and diversity. My name is Jewel. I'm a leader of Asia Club and Kaba Club. Hi, my name is Ari, and I'm a leader of uh, South Asian Middle Eastern Club and uh, AIF, which is the, the Color Club. Uh, so, one of the, the questions we'll be answering today is aside from diversity, what is inclusion like at Lick? Um, do you have friends with backgrounds different from your own? And what does like diversity inclusion uh, look like in a classroom or in extracurriculars? Um, I should also mention I am a co-president of Latinos Unidos. So altogether we have five different affinity uh, clubs represented. Um, personally for me, uh, I mean, I guess it kind of depends on diversity. I, I don't have, I mean, there's only like, in terms of South Asian Middle Eastern, there's only like three South Asian students in the grade. So my, my core friend group does not uh, include South Asian people. Um, and I said, but I would, what I would say is that you can always kind of find those spaces. Um, so for me, right, like my core friend group is, is mostly white, but I also um, participate in the South Asian Middle Eastern Club and AAF. So I'm able to sort of have those spaces while still being able to be friends with, with different people. For me, in terms of socially, I feel like I have like a pretty diverse friend group. Um, it's mostly POC, but um, also just like, I don't know. It's just like a mix of like everybody that's not really like, I would say there's like one, I wouldn't say there's like one specific like race that is all together for my friend group at least. And I think that it's very easy to just like have friends outside of your um, ethnic background. Yeah, I agree. Like um, socially, I feel that um, I've met a lot of people of different backgrounds, but also um, kind of like Joel said, uh, like friend group is like very diverse and it's not like we like picked it that way, but it's more of just kind of how it landed and how like the people that we interacted with um, and things we might have in common. And so like I find most of my friends are people of color, but it's just kind of coincidence. Um, so we talked about like socially, like um, academically, like in a classroom. Um, do, how do you see like inclusion um, aside from just like diversity? Well, something that I kind of love that like does that like my other schools, my elementary school, my middle schools like didn't really do is that they purposely choose. This is for the English department. They purposely choose books by authors of color uh, and like stories about cultures that we would probably never normally hear about and it's not all just like the western classics it's also just it's also like um books from other cultures and like yeah people from different backgrounds and just like white authors yeah I, I totally agree I think also like um the history classes especially U.S. history um, are, are huge in that. They focus a lot on, uh, on race and race in the U.S. and slavery and stuff like that and sort of the, the Native American uh, genocide. So I think that, you know, kind of plays in because, you know, if you're informed about those issues, it's easier. Uh, I mean, it's just good to understand them and stuff like that. Yeah, I agree. I especially found like in history, like we often learn things from not from the dominant like perspective, but from the perspective of often like oppressed groups um and like english like i think we had a really diverse like set of books and i think and they're also improving that as well so i know like this year they added another book which is by like a um chicana art author which is like not uh something that was represented before um so even if things weren't before like there's still things um that are being improved upon um within the curriculum yeah um, and honestly i don't think i've really ever read a book by an asian author like ever <laughs> before that or at least like not like one that was um uh assigned to me in an academic class like ever and uh now we've had multiple ones that are from asian authors which is something that like yeah i've never experienced before um now in terms of like extracurriculars like um 
where have you seen this uh, or like inclusion or diversity or like lack of thereof um, in certain spaces? Yeah, uh, for me personally, I am not really a sports person, but I have played like multiple sports at Lick. And I think that it's it doesn't really feel that um, exclusive to join sports at all because like everyone can join sports. And I don't really feel like that's as much of a barrier. I do think that I think this is true of everything just because like of the culture and just like how things play out is that more privileged people often play specific sports because they have more access to like club sports and stuff like that so maybe sometimes with specific sports or specific levels it kind of seems less diverse but that's not always the case of course yeah i would say speaking on other things i think um aside from sports with other extracurriculars it kind of depends on the extracurricular like the dance program is very diverse um, but like personally speaking, um, for junior year, I decided to try the theater program. Um, and that was not very diverse. I think there was like, you know, I think there were like two or three POC people and like 10, 15 white people in the sort of production. I mean, I think that's kind of not only a problem with theater at Lake, but also just a problem with, with theater, theater, like in the U S. So I would say, I, I would agree with Jewel. Like, I think sports are inclusive but i guess it kind of depends on the sport as well and depends on the extracurricular yeah also mm -hmm. even with athletics like um lacrosse like the stereotype um definitely exists um but i was convinced to join last year um as a junior and i was not very i was not very good like i was starting off like after never having played before but um i still felt like i um I could join and I um, felt comfortable joining even though it's like not really like stereotypically something that I might do or actually I never even seen a game like when I joined the team I still didn't know but um it's still like in that sense um it's very like athletics can be very cool yeah. as a one-time lacrosse player in sophomore year I feel felt exactly the same I didn't even know anything about lacrosse and I didn't really even know it existed before then because whenever I ever seen a Filipino person playing lacrosse never in my entire life so yeah <laughs> and then and I can actually speak a little bit about theater because I know that like we were me <laughs> and okay we were in um acting class freshman year that was like an experience with theater and I also have like a lot of experience backstage not like on the actual stage but backstage yeah <laughs> so um I feel like backstage it's really um I mean it doesn't really like I feel like sort of race and in the city doesn't really have anything to do with like getting a job backstage I think that it's kind of more about how POC don't really get involved in theater in general um, so I think it, it's more of like at least in my opinion it's more of POC not like wanting to participate or not, not not necessarily not wanting but like they just don't really know that that's like something that they can do or like something that they've like participated in the past so it's just like a lot less participation from POC in general. Nothing it can be intimidating if it's so dominantly white for PSC people to, to join that space. It can be challenging, so I don't know. I, I don't think that's a problem with how Lick does their theater program. Yeah, like greater like cultural elements, like as a greater like American culture and not necessarily like a school thing. It's tough. So thank you guys so much for um, like taking the time to speak. Um, and thanks, uh, thank you so much for watching. Um, you should please uh, follow our Instagram um, at LWHS Life and you should check out the links in our bio and make sure to tune in next week, next Friday.